Hello and welcome everyone. So this is the um, requested tutorial on a simple season system. So here I have a simple um, small scene set up to experiment and um, play around with. So this, uh, well, this actually the scene uses is um, in here I'm using a um, it's a combination of ma material pra um, um, parameters, uh, blueprints for um, different seasons and things like rain, snow, and spring creatures. And by default, I have them hidden in the scene, so they're not being rendered and they're not costing anything right now. And then as um, they are called inside the blueprint, they start spawning and then despawning at the same time. And the main things that I am changing in these is the um, opacity and the color of the leaves and the, um, and the grass in here. So what I'll do now is um, I'll leave this on this side here. And when I click play, I'll go through what's going on. So this is the full blueprints. It might look, long, uh, look pretty long to you, but um, as I go through it, you guys will notice that it's um, it's a pattern or a um, series of events which are very similar, but um, they're just being panned out across. And um, so uh, let's get started with that. With this video, um, I have, and if I haven't already, I'll be posting more videos, and they will show you how to use timelines and um, material um, parameter collections. If you guys don't know how to use those. So um, I think it's, it's also important. First thing what I'll do is I'll just quickly go in the um, in the in the blueprint and I'll show you the start of uh, what happens when I click play. So when I click play, first thing I have a um, a matinee camera set up, which kind of uh, gives me a point of view to um, look from. And then at event begin play, when the actual uh, play button is, is unplayed, I am making sure that all my extra blueprints, so spring, rain, and snow, are hidden. And it's just um, making sure that they are definitely hidden uh, in case I forgot to turn them off in the um, in the world outliner down here, which I have done so. So after which um, I have a delay of 15 seconds. Now this delay actually makes up for my um, my color change on the trees first of all. So first um, my grass stays the same, so, and my leaf color changes over a period of um, 21 seconds actually. So what what's happening here is um, I am starting off with a green color, a, a greenish color, and then over time I'm taking it down to a kind of uh, a, a color that has a high value in the X. So here the X represents the red, the Y the green, and the Z the blue. So it it goes up to kind of like a color that you would see um, the, your trees in the um, in autumn or fall, as you guys call it in the US. So I have that, and then um. Once this takes place, the, the um, color changes. I am um, so after, and, and then there's a 20 second delay, which allows for our um, our grass color to change, and then the leaf fall starts um, down here. So the set visibility for the leaf fall starts in the blueprints, and then in the end, I have this to um, set the um, the leaves to invisible by using the um, opacity, and then later on in the end, um, they are set back to visible after the leaf fall has stopped and the winter period is over. So now that I've, um, I've, I've gone over this, I'll head back here and we'll click play and see exactly what's happening down here. So now the scene um, starts playing and what we can see down here is um, we have a delay down here which starts counting down. So this is a delay that obviously allows for the tree color to change. And slowly over time, the tree colors are changing. They're getting a bit more um, kind of brownish. And now the grass color starts changing. That's the two of it. And the next delay is um, is head, which is uh, which allows us the time so the leaf color and the grass color can change. And now we have our winter um, starting after the um, just after the leaf fall has finished. So when this delay ends our grass um, opacity will start changing and our leaf opacity so they will go from 1 to 0 um, over a period of 5 seconds so now our grass disappears and now what we have down here is so after a bit more delay um, the winter period starts so there's snowfall and there's, there's some wind going around and then the um, the um, tree and the ground changes its color. And then the rain starts and the ground kind of starts to melt away. And ground roughness is set to zero. And after which what's happening is... Um, 
the grass starts to grow again, the um, the um, buttercups start to grow and the leaves again show up on the trees and then finally the um, spring creatures which are the butterflies and the dragonflies um, become visible. So this is the um, basic setup of what's going on down here. So now let me just um, quickly go over how I have um, put all this together. So again, um, timelines basically. What I have done is um, I have created uh, some material parameter collections. So uh, in this example, I'll show you guys the, um, the one for the grass color. So the one for the grass color down here, I have made this one down here. And in here I have just um, made a vector parameter. So, so by uh, pressing uh, plus. And then I have named this um, vector parameter. I have named this grass base color. Now this grass base color, this vector parameter, if I go to my grass material, let me find the imperative material to this. Now inside this material, what I have done is I have um, I have right clicked and I typed a parameter collection, and this parameter collection I have um, so down here I search for the grass um, sorry this one. So I search for the um, grass color, the my material, um, my material parameter collection, and in the parameter name I have chosen the grass base color. And now anything I change inside the um, material parameter will affect my grass real time in the world. And then I also have one for um, opacity down here, which is a. I go back to my seasons. So grass opacity, which starts off from a value of 1, which um, obviously represents that the grass is currently visible, and over time I take it down to 0 when the winter period starts. So as you guys can see down here, so here over a period of um, over a period of 10 seconds, the grass starts off green and then goes um, to a color which is close to red. And then what what is happening is so straight after this um there's a twenty five second delay which is obviously the um, leaf fall starts and the um the grass color change but you guys do need to have a delay so after your timeline do not you guys need to um compensate for the timeline because um the timeline does not actually stop the event from so if you had another timeline down here they would both start at the same time if you did not have a delay so it's important to have a delay between your timelines to compensate for the time it takes um during the timeline. And then the next thing I have is the um, opacity goes away um, down here. And also uh, one more thing I'm doing is if I show you guys. So what I have done here, so if I show you guys the spring creatures. So if I was to set this to visible, the um, spring creatures down here, you can see that it's, it's, um, it's constantly being spawned. But it's not real time. So uh, when I hide this, um, it's not rendering anymore. But the calculations are still being made and the, um, the, the objects are, are still there. So when the spring time comes, all I'm doing is, so inside the, um, the blueprint for the spring creatures, I have just added the dragonflies and everything down here. But right now it's not visible here, but in, in the scene it is visible. And in the seasons um, blueprint, so the, uh, uh, the blueprint for the levels. So in here what I'm doing is when spring starts, um, I set them to... So set actor hidden in game. I, I set their visibility to, to visible by making sure they're not hidden anymore. And then obviously this is um, a series of events that take place. But the main thing to take away from this would be the timelines, the, um, the parameter collections, and the blueprints to put together your, um, um, your different objects. So for example, these trees. Um, these trees are actually a blueprint where I have... Um, the leaf fall attached to it and, and the leaf fall is obviously um so the leaf fall is actually inside the blueprint with the tree but it only becomes visible um using the event graph when in my um in my main um level blueprint the leaves change color so this is a um series of events i hope this um kind of helped you guys out somehow the grass it, itself i am uh, what i'm doing is um, for the grass itself I use the foliage tool, so all the grass is um, is instant. Um, sorry, um, instance meshes. So they're not um, costing as much. They're only being um, calculated once. But the trees, however, they're not instant meshes right now. You can go ahead and make those um, instant meshes as well. Now this is a small scene. If you had a large scene, um, you obviously don't want. So when the rain starts, you don't want it to start everywhere at the same time, because that would be a waste of resources and yeah, your FPS would drop um, drastically. 
So for that you guys should um, look up um, uh, particle system LODs. What those LODs would do, the further away you are from the actual rain itself, it will start to despawn or get less and less the um, further away you are. So this is um, basically how I have done this. And now um, I'll also go ahead and um, upload the, um, the um, other videos on material parameter collections and the, um, <coughs> the um, timelines. So you guys can um, use this inside your projects. If, if, if anyone's wondering, uh, I have made a leaf fall tutorial um, on my channel as well. The trees are from TreeEd, or you can download the trees library from the um, Unreal Engine forums. The, um, the particle systems and a lot of the um, other assets are actually from the, um, the textures and stuff. They are from the um, Epic Games, like the um, from um, Zen Garden and um, whatnot. So I hope you guys uh, find this somewhat useful. And um, let me know uh, what I could do to improve or if you guys have any tips for me to um, experiment with. And this is uh, basically it. I hope um, this was useful to you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.